Hey guys, Kinderbook up here, and today I'm going to be showing you a brand new Bionicle or CCBS mock that I just made. Um, so, here he is. Um, his name is just Raptor, uh, because lack of creativity in my mind when I tried to name him. Um, I guess you could do a play of words and call him Raptor or something like that. Um, but there he is. And as the name um, says, he's, well, a raptor. Um, there he is. Looking all neat. Little horn here. Little pokey claws. Um, so in this mode, he's mostly just for, uh, like, displaying stuff. He doesn't have a whole lot of articulation in this mode. Obviously, he has his head and his neck and his arms, but his legs can't really do anything the way that the transformation works because he is a bioformer. Uh, if you don't know what that means, it's a bionicle transformer. It could also mean animal former, uh, cause bio, but he is one of those. So, now that we've seen his raptor mode, um, give a bit of inside look. Um, I guess if he feels threatened or something, you could put these up. Kind of looks like a triceratops if you do that, but, <laughs> um, that's that. Now we can get into his, uh, humanoid or just, uh, person mode. <laughs> um, I don't know what you would call that. But, um, first thing you want to do is get these arms and just... Display them out to the sides like that. You want to take the legs, and they're sort of coiled up like that. So you're just gonna bring those down and rotate them all the way around. So now you have it like this. Now display the legs as well. This whole tail section will go under the. Uh, groin region in this panel or armor plate uh, will fold up like that then you could bring the legs down and you could bring the arms down and rotate the hands around for more of a humanoid look then you take this whole section on this ball joint and bring it down and the head will just fold down like a backpack and then you could stand him up. And there he goes. Um, there's a Raptor. I'm just going to call him that from now on. In his robot mode. Um, if you see, he's a bit stubby. Um, as you could probably tell. He's not very tall. So, um, yeah. He's a short little munchkin. But, uh. I think he's kind of cute. Um, he's got these uh, two claws for the hands. Uh, if you wanted him to have fists or something, you just, you know, these fingers are articulated, so you can just push him in like that. You might want to do that if you prefer it to look even more humanoid. Um, this little ball joint here is just supposed to represent the head without actually having a head on it. So. In this mode, of course, he's got a lot of articulation, like the arms and the legs move and everything like that. Um, so yeah, this, it's not that great, but it's the best I could come up with, with the idea that I had, the parts that I had, and without having it have any parts forming at all. So, uh, I hope you guys like it, and if you do, make sure to hit that like button down below to show me that you do. And also, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss out on any new content that comes from it. And I'll see you guys later.